My name is Sasha Huber and I'm a visual artist based in Helsinki, Finland. I'm originally from Zurich, Switzerland, and my father's from Switzerland and my mother is from Haiti. And the exhibition you're going to see is called You Name It, and it is based on a body of work I've been working on since 2008. The project started basically after I was invited to join the cultural activist campaign called Demounting Louis Agassiz, which was founded in 2007. And the idea of Demounting Louis Agassiz was to shed light into parts of his history which were left out. Fassler realized that there was this missing link. He was very known as a, being a glaciologist and ichologist. There are over 80 places around the world named after him because of this. And in 1846, he immigrated to the state. So, and that's where he saw black people for the first time. And that's where he developed his uh, scientific uh, racism. By 1850, he used the then still new technology of photography to document seven enslaved people from a South Carolina plantation. And one of the persons photographed was Renti, who was still born in Congo. And Hans Fassler's idea was to suggest to rename the Agassiz Horn in the Swiss Alps after Renti in order to honor Renti and people who endured similar fates. And so I was part of this committee and I felt compelled to do more than just give my name to support this idea. And that's where I started um, to plan my first reparative intervention. So I went to the mountain physically and renamed it with a new sign and a, a graphical representation of his portrait and a short text, what it was about. And this is a, basically the starting point and um, is presented in this exhibition as well. And the new work that I was able to do or I wanted to do in this exhibition, which is shown for the first time, is Tailoring Freedom, where I reproduced this photograph of her ancestor and his daughter, which were very objectified and dehumanizing because they were stripped naked. So what I did is I used the staple gun to uh, make them clothes. They become like armors almost because the metal becomes this armor that would protect them. So I traveled also to Brazil, to New Zealand, Aotearoa, New Zealand, Scotland, then in Switzerland I made work, altogether six countries. And in 2017 I was uh, at the residency at the Axe Set in Gatineau in near Ottawa. And this is where I started the collaboration with two throat singers called Charlotte and Cynthia. And together we made the work uh, which you see in the exhibition called Mother Throat. And um, this is held at a place um, which is 300 kilometers north of uh, Ottawa called Agassiz Lake. And when you see the film, you see the landscape uh, which was named after Agassiz and uh, you hear the voices, the throat singing of, of Cynthia and Charlotte. It's an honor to be in the power plant, uh, which is directed by Gaetan Verna, whom I met many years ago in Venice through a common friend. E.C. Silva, uh, some years later, she invited me to have this exhibition and um, which is a touring exhibition, which is really a very, like the most important uh, stage from within my career at this moment. And I'm also really excited about the book that is currently in the making, which brings all projects together with incredible contribution, textual contributions, which can contextualize um, the whole uh, endeavor 